let me show you how, I, how I'm doing the generator. Um, I've taken a can and cut it to this size and drilled a hole into it with a screw, a, a washer, fixed this and as you can see this is a nice rotor from the outside. This is how it looks like from the inside. Here I've put um, magnets in, round and round, everywhere. And the number of magnets must be um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 um, or more, but not 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So you have to have a, a straight number because the um, poles must be alternating. So if you've got here north, then this must be south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, and around. And inside here I have fixed a bearing with the screw. So if I hold this thing at the bearing, then I can spin it. So that's the rotor so far. And now to the starter. This is a piece of styrofoam, but it's a, a stronger version. So I can um, drill into it or cut holes without having it uh, to uh, change form too much. Um, here I have uh, cut out a hole with two layers. And the diameter of this hole is a little bit smaller than my bearing. Um, that's because I can put it into this and if I press, the styrofoam is soft so it makes place and the bearing is holding by itself. So I don't need to glue it or something, it's, it's okay that way. And then I used the hot wire cutter to uh, cut holes into it. The same uh, number of holes as I have magnets. Um, I'm at it so I have a few holes and I need to do some more. And when I have done this, then I will need to um, put the wire onto it to have the uh, coils. And the coils will be looking like this and it goes round and round and round. Same amount of coils as I have uh, magnets. And that's where I'm right on now. And let's see how this will develop. Thank you.